Welcome back to another video. Today I'm at uh, WeBrew Bikes. Um, today we have a special bike. This is a Dare bike. Uh, most of you would have not seen this bike. Anyway, uh, I'm not the right person to introduce this bike. So today I have with me uh, Mr. Desmond, who is the supervisor at uh, WeBrew Bikes. Uh, Desmond, thank you so much for taking the time and uh, you know letting me film your bikes. Hopefully my audience will find this very useful and uh, to introduce this brand to them. Uh, so maybe I'll pass it over to you uh, if you can just give us a, an overview of this bike. Uh. Today we are talking about the uh, Dare Bikes. Uh, this new model is actually uh, just released in 1st of September. The model is uh, named uh, MAAFO. So for this bike itself, it's more like all-rounder bikes where you can, um, it's lightweight enough. The frame weight at medium size is 710 gram, which in the uh, racing black color. So, um, in fact, this frame itself, they also introduced a brand new material that is recently introduced in the industry, which is a graphene material. They mix in terms of uh, together with the bonding of the carbon to make sure that the weight can be reduced from 15% from the previous MR1 series and also at the same time the stiffness increase of 15%. The frame itself um, comes with a frame set. If you would to wish to choose their integrated, integrated system, you can choose their A stem. A stem from the uh, newly introduced for this frame itself. So the price for this frame set 5950 which comes with the frame the fork the headset integrated uh, carbon handlebar stem and also the sipo which are able to accommodate for both carbon rail and uh, round rails actually just now we were off camera we measured the weight of the bike was 7.1 right yes it is uh, 7.1 for a disc brake bike is actually uh, incredibly light um, what what is the main reason for the the such a lightweight? The main reason it should be into the frame that they are able to reduce the frame weight. Uh, introduce introduce of the uh, new material graphene to it, where uh, they are they managed to reduce hundred gram previously from the MR one series, which I think contributes to the uh, reduction of the weight at the same time. Uh, also build up with uh, durized component. Uh, black ink wheels, uh, carbon rail, uh, carbon based uh, saddles from Pro PL Stealth. Where, where is this brand from? Is it uh, an Asian brand or a Western brand? That is from Taiwan. Um, they has been in the industry for ten years. So somebody who wants to buy this bicycle, it comes with a complete frame set. Uh, it comes with the stem and the handlebar as well, right? Um, you can choose not to. You can just choose to buy the frame set. But the frame set will come with a carbon seat pole. If you want to have uh, their integrated system uh, with the new introduction of their ACE handlebar and stem, yes, you can. Otherwise, you can choose your own system to be installed. The stem is a bit different from the traditional, which is 105, because of the uh, angle of the stem. The stem angle is uh, negative 18. Setback of the seat pole, you can choose from 5, uh, 15, and 25. The seat post is a bit unconventional because these days most seat posts they are all uh, integrated and they are all aero seat posts, right? Is this a 31.8 mm uh, diameter? No, um, this is a 27.2. Um, 27.2 nowadays are very common where why is 27.2? We all know that they want to get a slimmer tuning and at the same time to reduce the weight of the carbon material. Although, you know, it will it will be less stiff compared to the 31.8 or 31.6 that is introduced in the market. But then it looks more slick and slim and reduce the weight of the seat tube as well because otherwise the seat tube will be uh, at 35 mm. So how many variants for this uh, specific model? Is it only this one? Uh, there are two variants. One is uh, Racer Black. The other one is Jade Noir, which is you see from the video itself. When, when was this bike released? Quite recently, right? Uh, this bike was released in 1st first, first of September. Since this bike is relatively new to the market, uh, what, what is the feedback like from customers who bought this bike? Um, so far, we have sold uh, a few of these uh, bikes and customer feedback was uh, responsive, stiff, and yet uh, it's uh, not... Um, you know, some of the customers, some of the riders, they feel that, you know, bike, something like this will feel harsh. But 
I would say that uh, customer feedback that this is not as harsh as compared to what their current right is. So I would say it might due to the new material that they have introduced into this frame, which is the graphene material. Most people wouldn't know, but this specific brand is also sponsoring a pro team. I actually saw it online. It was called the Uno X Norwegian Pro Team. They found this team when they set up uh, in uh, no. Norway in 2018. So they, they found that this team was uh, uh, going strong in uh, within the country. And in that particular time when they introduced um, this Norwegian team also found that hey, this is the interesting bike. After they tried it and they, uh, they like it very much, they find that um, this is the bike they want to you know uh, ride on. So they have the collaboration in terms of the racing as a pro continental in Europe. Um, they have this, uh, this team, you know, X team itself, recently they have uh, registered into a world tour team. For this bike, it's something interesting, especially you don't see a mass brand that is uh, working on graphene material. Yet. Why? It's because graphene material, is, although you can assess, but it's not a uh, material that is uh, very common and it's, it's actually very expensive. Mm. So at this price, frame set price itself uh, for to introduce a graphene material, I think is something that um, riders can you know, explore further. Mm. Uh, it might be interesting because all out there are all mainly full carbon. Okay, carbon, there are many uh, grids of carbon. Tensional strength can be uh, as low as uh, entry level carbon or as high as you know, lightweight, very lightweight carbon that they use. Mm. So, um, yes, I would say that this bike um, may be interesting and we yet to hear more feedbacks on this bike itself. Okay, uh, I think that wraps, about, uh, wraps out the video today. Uh, thank you, Desmond, for letting me film your bike. Uh, if anybody has heard of this brand, please do comment on my uh, video and let me know what you guys think about this bike. And Desmond, thank you again. I hope to review other bikes here at your uh, shop. Thanks for um, giving us the opportunity to uh, introduce this bike to, uh, to, to you guys. Uh, hope you guys can pop by and you know, see the real thing and have a feel of it.